and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Are you typing? I was just trying to get the vlog scheduled when Miss Grace woke up. So I just had her sit here with me while I made the thumbnail. All right, Miss Grace, now we just gotta press schedule for 9 a.m. Oh my goodness. This is a very important document you're working on. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> Usually on days when I am just watching Grace, I only work during her nap, so she's only been up here a handful of times. Actually, I think the, the last time you were up here was when I was trying to get Olivia Rodrigo tickets. Yeah, and that did not work out well. Got her little book. <laughs> yeah, is that keeping you entertained? <laughs> I got this little couch actually for the dogs for Christmas. They don't really like it, but Grace seems to. Yeah, I got the dogs this couch because I thought it would be cute, and then they still just prefer for their little bed here. Yeah, so it could be your spot. Say hello, welcome to mommy's office. How can I help you? Reminder, um, hydrate today. Don't forget to drink water. Um, okay, so just got Grace down for a nap. And while, while she naps, I think I'm gonna try and do something that I've been wanting to do for probably the past like week and a half, two weeks, but I haven't done it in so long that I know it's gonna take a lot of time and I just haven't been able to find the time uninterrupted. And that is, shaving. <laughs> Also, I kind of want to talk a little bit about body hair and just kind of my perspective on shaving and where I'm at with that right now because I, I made that video, how long ago was my not shaving video? I made a video on the main channel where I tried not shaving for a month in September of 2020. And through filming that video, I realized that I, I don't actually shave for me as often as I was shaving at that time. Does that make sense? Like for me, for my own personal preferences, I like to shave like every four to six weeks. But before I filmed that video, I really was never going more than like a week, two weeks between shaves. And that wasn't for me and my own preferences, my own comfort. That was because I felt like that was what I was supposed to do because there is such a stigma about female body hair. I was shaving because I felt like I had to. And so for the past like year and a half since I filmed that video, I've been shaving about every four to six weeks. I don't plan it out that way. That's just usually about the time that I start feeling like I want to shave again. My leg hair starts getting a little bit itchy. I start kind of missing that like clean shaven feeling where everything's all smooth and you get in your clean sheets and your legs are all soft. And so then I shave, but because I go so much longer between shaves now, shaving takes a lot longer when I actually do it. And so I've been craving that clean shaven feeling for a little while now, but I haven't had the time. So this nap, we're gonna do it. Also, I find it so interesting, like the, I guess the cognitive dissonance between the the idea that so many people have that female body hair is gross and that male body hair is normal. Like whenever I post a photo with my body hair showing and I'm not even talking about body hair in the caption, it's just there existing. There's always a couple comments of people being like, oh my gosh, that's gross, you need to shave. But I know they would never comment that on a man's photo. And, and the argument that I see people make is, oh, well, it's just not feminine. But my body hair is on me and I am feminine. So that makes my body hair feminine. It's a natural part of my body. And so I'm not embarrassed by my body hair and I'm not really bothered by those comments anymore. But it is just interesting to me because to me, it's so, it's so straightforward. Why would male and female body hair be viewed any differently? But we've just been conditioned to think that women should be hairless. And I'm a big believer in personal choice. If what you're doing doesn't hurt anyone, do what you want. And so if people like shaving every day, regardless of their gender, I say shave every day. If people don't like shaving at all, then they shouldn't shave. And if you fall somewhere in the middle like me, just shave as much as you want. And it did take me a little while to get to this point. Like filming that video back in 2020 was a, a big, change like mentally for me. But now that I'm here and I've kind of processed that, it's, it just seems so obvious to me. I don't know why people get so pressed about it. <laughs> I should say, I don't know why people get so pressed about other people's body hair because I understand how difficult it can be to process on our own, especially for women who have darker body hair, especially for women who've been grown up conditioned that they shouldn't show their body hair. Obviously that brings like a whole nother level to it. Like I don't expect everyone to be where I am for their own body hair, but I don't see why so many people are pressed about my body hair because it's mine. It doesn't really affect them at all. So that being said, I am going to shave today for the sole reason that I want to. I recently got an electric razor, very loud, 
pretty inexpensive too. I think this one was like 20 bucks. And I have really sensitive skin, but this one has been fine for me. So I'll link it in the description. So I'll go in with this first and then with my razor. This is from Athena Club. And this can handle like all of my body hair, but I have to rinse it out so frequently and it takes so long. I realize it's just so much quicker if I start with this. Also, since I went on a little rant about body hair and perceptions, I do just want to add this. I'm not bothered at all by people asking about my body hair or like even, you know, making lighthearted jokes about it in the comments. I think it's funny. <laughs> Someone commented on my last Instagram photo and said, okay, Miss Boycott Gillette. <laughs> and Kenzie and I have not stopped laughing about it since. So keep, keep those coming. <laughs> All right, now the armpits. Oh my gosh. You know what? You, you get the idea. I'm gonna turn the camera off. So hopefully I can do my whole shave during Grace's nap. Yay, my legs are shaven. Grace did wake up about five minutes ago, but Steven's on his lunch break right now. So he was able to grab her. So I'm just gonna put some product in my hair real quick, throw it up in a t-shirt to plop. And then I can tap back in for Grace. All right, hello. It is now 2.08. I put Grace in her jumper here in the nursery so I could make our meal plan and our grocery list, but I think she is just about done. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Good job. So we are now ready and prepared to hit the grocery store, but uh, Grace will be due to feed and then nap again, like around three. So I'm hoping we can grocery shop in that time and keep somewhat to our schedule. Our schedule is pretty flexible, but I do find that like she feeds better and naps better when we stay on schedule. So I want to set you up for success, which means I should stop vlogging and get us <laughs> Yeah, get us ready to go. Do you see yourself in the mirror? Say hi, Grace. Hi, Mama. Yeah, that's us. Good job. All right, we are almost done with our shopping. Grace was very interested in holding this onion, so it is keeping her occupied. All right, we finished up getting all of our produce. It is now 2.54 and we are heading to the checkout, so pretty close to being on schedule. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's now about 3.45. Grace is down for a nap. All the groceries are put away. And I'm hoping this nap's pretty long because her one earlier was only like 25 minutes. And I have a vlog that I need to edit that I have not started on at all. The last vlog was sponsored, so that's what I need to edit. And then I need to send it over to the brand for approval by tomorrow morning. So I wanna finish it tonight. So I'm gonna try and crank out as much as I can now during Grace's nap. And then whatever's left, I can just finish tonight after Grace goes to bed. Oh, also, I cannot stop rubbing my legs together because it just feels so smooth. I miss this feeling. I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to find time to shave today. And I did a deep condition, a full cleanse, so my hair is feeling like hydrated and refreshed, ready for the week. Lately, I've been preserving my washes like three days, sometimes four. Usually I wash again on the fourth day. And I feel like that, that's been working really, really well for me. I realized I haven't done like an updated curly girl routine, I think for a year. So if you would like to see my current hair routine, cause uh, quite a lot has changed, let me know in the comments because I would be happy to do that. I love talking about hair. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, where's she going? Where is she going now? The crawling baby. All right, good morning. It is now two days later. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Um, but yesterday, Tuesday, was my full work day for the week. And it was good, I got a lot done, but I was just really, really missing Grace. Like more than usual, I, maybe it's the stage that she's in right now. We're just having so much fun together. And also she's changing so much so fast. I feel like I just, I can't get enough time with her. So I'm really excited to just hang out with her today. And then also we're gonna be trying to do a closet clean out or at least get started on the closet clean out. I feel like that's something I can do while watching Grace and then also do most of it while she naps, hopefully. You got the ball! Good job! We're doing that main channel video where I'm getting my closet professionally organized. And so as part of that, I'm gonna get rid of the clothes that I don't wear anymore, that don't fit anymore, to get like a clean, fresh start. But before any of that, gonna make some avocado toast and uh, go for a walk. What do you think, Crawly McGee? <laughs> Are you gonna pull yourself up? by my face.
Okay, first of all, how beautiful were those flowers? Oh my gosh, it's like everything bloomed overnight and it's so beautiful. So that was kind of a fun, unexpected thing on our walk. Now Grace is napping and Kenzie and Jess already got started on kind of like taking stuff out of the closet for me to go through. So now that I'm showered and dressed, we're gonna get started on that. So here are all the bottoms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I realized uh, just how many clothes I had. So let's just dive right in, here we go. <laughs> Go Grace. Go Grace. <laughs> I'm already like rediscovering so many things that I don't really wear that often, but that I love. I think just because of that like decision fatigue, I had too many things in my closet. It was overwhelming. And so there were a lot of things that I would just kind of skip over, but that I really, really love. And so I think getting rid of so many things and moving so many other things out of my closet is actually gonna help me to wear more of my clothes because I won't just default to wearing the same couple things. Okay, so here is everything that made the cut, all of the bottom that are staying in my closet, except for uh, workout wear. That's like its own drawer, which, uh, yeah, this is stuffed full, which we're, <laughs> we're gonna do this now. Look who's up, hello, my friend. Grace took a nice hour and a half nap. We got a ton done on the closet clean out. So I'm just gonna play with her for a little while and then we'll probably do like another hour of closet clean out. <laughs> yeah, do you see Bella? A wild Bella amongst the piles of clothes. <laughs> All right, making a quick late lunch for Grace and I. Some strawberries, hummus, and pita for Grace. And then I'm having the rest of the pita, some hummus, and I am gonna heat up one of my freezer burritos. If you guys saw the vlog where I made these, they are fantastic, and they're still amazing when they're reheated. It's so nice to have these, especially for days like today where I did not have time to make a full lunch. All right, hello again from me on a mountain of clothes. <laughs> Grace is back down for her last nap, and we're pretty much done with the closet clean out. Kenzie and Jess are going through and picking anything that they might like. And then we're also setting aside piles for my mom, for Skylar, for Jess's sister, Amanda. And then when Ryan and Paloma come over again in a couple weeks, they're gonna pick through everything. And this is making me so excited to actually like do the organization stuff. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. I'm so tired. Probably got like 20 more minutes here. We're just wrapping up and then we're gonna call it a day. And Kenzie and I are going to do a workout tonight. So it's gonna be fun. All right, we just got to the gym. Let's do, uh, here's our before and after. We're done. <laughs> always with the peace signs, literally. Always, that's what always. I've been since high school. Since I'm high school. Um, workout was great, but there was one downside, a, a casual. casualty. I dropped my cup and the top broke. It's only in two pieces, so I'm hoping I can hot glue it. Not gonna lie, my, my heart shattered a little bit when this shattered. R.I.P. R.I.P. a real one. Hopefully I can hot glue it, but if not, you know, it, the quest is gonna begin over again to find a new Starbucks cup that as is sparkly and extra as I am. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.